Hey, Jeff here. You know, as this new year is upon us, um, you know, so many resolutions have to do with, with weight loss. And people get sidetracked and they, they lose their way with weight loss because as they're getting into it, as they're watching what they eat, they're cutting things out, they start thinking to themselves that they can never have a cookie again or you can never have a beer again or anything like that. The reality is this, when you're trying to lose weight, yes, we do have to cut things out. We're trying to get a caloric deficiency in what we're burning and so forth. And a lot of times the bad foods, the cookies, the, you know, if you're a beer drinker, those type of things just add empty calories to what we're doing. So in order to get that weight down, we have to cut some of those things out. Now I've talked in the past about the maintenance stage and that's the stage that we all want to get to. That's where you have your weight where you want it to be and you're just trying to maintain it. That stage, I'm telling you, is an easy stage to be at because even if you have a day when you are a weekend when you're bad and you, you know, maybe add a pound or two onto your weight, you're not going back to having to lose that pound or two plus the other weight that you're trying to lose. You're just trying to get back to that maintenance part of your weight there. So yes, we do have to cut things out, but it doesn't mean by any means that you have to go without cookies for the rest of your life. A lot of times when we do, when we change those eating habits and, you know, the sweets and the, uh, the alcohol is part of it, you know, our palate changes too, so that we don't want as much of that. And that's a good place to be. That's why I always say, you know, work on those things now we're in January you know that saying I've always had it out there I get trouble from friends and family about this but we need to really people are concerned about what they eat between Thanksgiving and New Year's which we just got there when we really should be concerned about what we eat between New Year's and Thanksgiving you know we have those what ten and a half months to really change eating habits that way when next Thanksgiving rolls around it seems like a long way off but just think about how you were talking last year at this time you know, when you get to Thanksgiving next year, hopefully you've changed those habits so that, you know, when you're sitting down to that meal, you're not going to want to eat as much. That's the biggest part of the whole thing. So, yeah, you have to change eating habits. You have to uh, cut things out, but get to that maintenance stage and you're going to be coasted. All right, well, if you subscribe to this channel, share it with your friends and family, and good luck on those resolutions and making those healthy changes.